Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, just walking up to a job here first thing in the morning. It's on a uh, really sweet ibis. Oh, and it's freaking wedged all the way into the back corner there, which will make this awesome. Wow, okay. Well, this is going to be fun. It's all the way in the back corner, like behind the batteries, behind all this stuff going on here. All right, let's get these batteries out of the way. We are 9 sixteenths. Out of the way. All right, second battery out. All right, looks like these screws were holding it on. So I need to get some long screws to put in here, run into here. So our two lines coming in from the jack, from the, the uh, power pole. And we're gonna undo these right here. But I gotta get a rag. There's no way around it. It's gonna be a little messy. So 9 sixteenths, we know blue is on this side. So we're going to do the same on the new motor. Sometimes these will spin right off. Sometimes you got to take them all the way off with a box end wrench here. Yeah, we got a little bit of fluid already coming out. It is some really nasty looking fluid too. Really dark, like a black brown. Let's loosen this up. There's going to be some fluid. All right, not too bad. Let's get this black one off. There we go. See, now that one's coming off nice and easy. All right, nice. Okay, so, like I said, no way around these from dripping. All I can really do is just sort of wrap it up for now. Since I've still got to get that whole pump out of the way, I'm just going to throw a zip tie around this. tuck that up to there. All right, so now we need to get this off. There's two nuts on the back side of this pump, and they are 9 sixteenths. All right, so got a quarter inch socket here. Quarter inch ratchet. with a 9 16th deep well on it. All right, that one's off. Let's get this motor out of here. Garbage. All right, so. <clears throat> this point, I need to strip both of these. crimped on there and the reason I just did one was to sort of mitigate the risk of bare wires hitting each other so I don't I've checked they're not energized I just don't like taking the risk 
All right, that's that and that. And here is our new pump. Now let's get our bolt. And I'm gonna feed it in about right there. Get my other one and feed it into about right there and push that rubber seal around the threads. Now the fun part, because you're doing this blind, is to get these to thread in. I got one to thread in. This other one is going to be a challenge because of the angle. That's snug down. All right, so those are both good. We are going to snip these. About right there. And now I'm going to strip these. And One down. the mini torch we have no fuel in here and i'm open to the air so we're going to heat shrink that down and deal heat that one down all right those are both done let that cool off for a second. We'll remove that cap. Right. These all zip tie over to here. But for right now, let's get this off of here. Take these caps off and ferrules. Cut that off of there. And This one goes here, it's like so, and that one's snugged in, pushed in, you got to push them down, all right, nine sixteenths.
All right, that's snug for that one. That should be pretty good for that one. It's in there good. That's it. All right, so at this point, we've installed both of our batteries back in, cleaned up our wiring, made sure everything's good. There's our new pump motor. We have power, cleaned up some wiring in here, went from pump motor to direct to the ground on a solid ground. And uh, everything, like I said, is cleaned up. A whole lot better in here. Not a giant snake mess. Remounted the panel here, nice and solid. And that's it. Everything works. 